There's good. Then there's sticky, sweet, spicy, double your napkins. Don't even share with your own best friend. General So Good. Introducing General Soul Sauce for a limited time at Buffalo Wild Wings. with uh, the head coach of Gross Hill High School, Kyle Lesperance. And, and Kyle, first and foremost, man, I want to say congratulations on getting to a state final. Job's not done, but uh, nonetheless, you're getting there for your first time ever in school history. Yes, thank you, Yeah, and thanks for having us today. Hey, no no, no worries. I mean, looking at your record, 17-2-4, you were ranked in the top 10 throughout much of the, uh, much of, uh, the rankings here for the Michigan High School Soccer Coaches Association. Um, but talk about the season. Talk about the journey. Uh, so, so this season started a little differently. We actually usually start with like a, a powerhouse to start the season so we can kind of learn our weaknesses and then we have all season to adjust. This season didn't quite work out scheduling wise uh, to, to have that format for us. Um, so it's been a little bit longer process to get where we're at right now um, because we faced some of our hardest teams like in the middle of the season and we really had to like anchor down and, and make some adjustments at, at th- those points. Um, but I, I'm I'm extremely happy where the, where the program's at right now, where the team's at, and, and how we're playing. No question. Uh, you know, looking at at the season as a whole, I mentioned already. You know, seventeen two and four overall on the year. I mean, looking at statistics, uh, you guys scored a hundred goals this year, uh, allowing just fifteen along the way. Uh, I mean, talk about talk about that for a second. That's a that's a lot of goals to score first and foremost. But the the more important one here is the goals against fifteen. Yeah, so we we take pride in our defense, and and defense is kind of a dying art. Um, a lot of teams don't don't take the pride in it, um, and and for us, it's not that every game that we go into, we're just in full control of. There's times where our defense and our midfield doing the bulk of the work, and we might only get one or two opportunities on offense. So we really rely on our our midfield and our defense to do a lot of the a lot of the dirty work to keep us in these games. Um, so and, and there's three games this season. There was only three games of the season that we allowed more than one goal. Um, so we, we take a lot of pride in that too. Let's talk about the semifinal game here for a second. You guys went up against the powerhouse in Flint Powers, right? A team that's been to the state finals before, won it uh, numerous times. Uh, you win that game in a shootout going 10 deep in a shootout. Let's talk about that for a second. Oh man, it was, uh, it was crazy. Um, super exciting, but nerve wracking at the same time. We've been working on penalty kicks for a long time, um, so we were confident with it. We keep stats on it. We keep the direction our players go. Uh, we, we, we take extensive notes on it, but you don't really ever anticipate having to go and pick that ninth, tenth, or beyond that player to, to take a PK. We were kind of expecting it to end after the first five, um, and, and we were excited to still be in it, but, uh, but it was definitely nerve-wracking. So it's your first first state finals in school history, obviously on the men's side, the numerous state championships over the last number of years. Um, you know, knowing that, have you had a chance to talk with Coach Evans about this process and what it's like? So he reached out at, after the uh, the Flint Powers game um, and just congratulated us and told us to enjoy the journey, take it one game at a time, um, and that it's it's basically playoff soccer or survive in advance, and that's kind of how we've been approaching it this season. And we've we've talked prior to the playoff starting it doesn't have to be pretty um, at the end of the season. If it, it, you can say you played pretty soccer, but if you're out, you're out and, and you're at home watching the rest of it. And we just, we're, we're happy where we're at. Uh, we're happy with the way we're playing. Um, obviously we'd like to see a little bit more of the ball than we did against Flint powers. Um, but we're also very comfortable not having it at our feet. I mean, obviously no, no question about that. You're in a state final here uh, playing tomorrow. Um, and, and it, it, talk about that message because, for someone that's played and been in a state championship myself, uh, that was almost 20 years ago for me. Uh, times have changed, right? The way that that process, the way the game, the, the the atmosphere, everything about a state final has changed over the years. But what is your message to your team to make sure that they stay calm, that they stay, you know, um, disciplined with all the extracurriculars that happen in the state final? Yeah, so we were we're pretty beat up after that Flint game. So yesterday was a uh, was a rest day. We watched some film. Uh, we had like a team meal while we were doing it. So the girls were super relaxed. They have great attitudes right now. So we're not trying to put any additional pressure on them. Uh, today at practice, we're going to go over some of the things that we, we watched in the film and what we have, what we have to work on. 
uh, leading up to the game, but we really are kind of approaching this as like a no pressure type thing. Um, I don't think a lot of teams expected us to be here. Um, we 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 expected to be here. We've expected to be here the last few years, and and we just kind of missed out um, on some quality and some positions. But uh, but but we're ready for it. We are ready for it. The girls are they're they're loose. They're they're ready to go, and they're really enjoying the moment. And I would be remiss if I didn't say who you're playing, right? You're playing a, a team in Hudsonville Unity Christian that, you know, has won 14 of these along the way. Um, and not that that should scare or to put fear in any team. It's a big challenge to go up a team that's been there this many times. They were there last year, right? So, I mean, talk about that for a moment. Yeah, so that's where those, like, tough games earlier in the season come in. And in years past, and in 2021, we faced Detroit Country Day who at that time was like a team destined to win any division they were in. They could have won division one. They could have won division two. They ended up kind of coasting through division three. Um, but in that regional semifinal, we gave them a tough game. It was a two to one game. We we're the only team to score on them in the playoffs. Uh, we had the coach on the heels a little bit. Um, and, and we take pride in how we set up um, our formation and we, we adjust it based on the game. And we have a game plan going into, into Friday's match and, and we're excited. No, oh, that's 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 awesome. And so something that we always do here uh, on the network is we like to we, we like food. So it's something that, we you know, uh, we know that team dinners are a thing. Right. And and so I'm going to ask you a question related to your team here for a second. Then I'll get more personal with you. Uh, what What is your what is your team uh, doing as far as their meal here? I'm sure there's a team dinner taking place tonight or something tomorrow. What are you what are you guys planning as far as uh, your meal breaking bread together? So actually, we're not doing a team dinner tonight. We're going to have practice. The girls are going to go get ice cream. Uh, they're going to get in bed a little early. We're actually going to do a team breakfast in the morning around 7.30 a.m. before we depart. Um, we have it at the Grozeal Country Club. It's going to have the works. There's going to be eggs, bacon, sausage. There's going to be different types of uh, croissants and things like that for, for the girls uh, just to get them together one more time before they take off. And then they're going to have a charter bus leaving from uh, Grozeal High School. We're going to do like a little send off. A lot of the, the public will come. Um, we're going to have the police department, fire department there send us off. Um, so so that's kind of what we're doing leading up to the, the big game tomorrow. Now, the game tomorrow is at one o'clock at the Martin Stadium. It will be available on the, ne the National Federation High School Network, NFHS Network, uh, at 1 p.m. Um, and uh, we're excited for you guys in that matchup. Before I let you go, uh, this is a personal question. Uh, what is your go to meal? My go-to meal. Yeah, if, if today one. was your last day on earth, what would be the meal that you would want right now? A uh, steak. Okay. All right. And how New would York <laughs> New York strip steak? Uh, and and how, what would you have with that steak? Uh, I would uh, double mashed. Double mashed. Double mashed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Very cool. All right. All right. And then last but not least, uh, the sweet tooth. Uh, you know, what is your go-to candy? Oh man, uh, it depends on my mood. I'm I'm big uh, big on like Skittles. Um, okay. But then when I, I get in a chocolate mood, I'm just like a Hershey bar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, Kyle, man, uh, congratulations on making it to the state finals. Your job obviously not done yet. Uh, we look forward to having further conversations with you. Kyle Esperanza, the Grow Seal head coach, uh, their first state championship game here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, at the Demarcation. Thank you. Thank you for having us.